Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl, and we're going to be talking about the next season, so season 6. This is a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of new information that we've got. We've got some stuff regarding Kara's new relationship and what could happen next season. We've got an official release date for Supergirl season 5 on Netflix. Also, we've got deleted scenes to talk about, and we've got a confirmed gag reel. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, as you know, last season, what was set up was this relationship between Kara and William, but nothing ever really happened. They went on a date, it was cut short, and pretty much we saw nothing of that. And that may have been down to circumstances regarding Melissa being pregnant at the time. We don't know the ins and outs of everything. However, there was this article that was posted on TV Line just a couple of days ago, which we're going to be going over because Melissa has made some comments as in regards to what Kara's relationship status is going to be like next season. And it's in obviously regards to William and what they set up last season. So this was the news that I was expecting at some point. I knew they were going to try and continue forward with William and Kara, considering that William is in next season, but perhaps I didn't really want to hear it. Like, I don't have anything against William, but I'm just not the biggest fan of them together. I think they're very cute sometimes together. They have these cute moments, especially Kara, you know, reacting to William like a few episodes ago when she was talking about like how Alex's cat or dog or something is like allergic to tall guys with accents and that's an obvious ploy from the writers to say you know something is going to happen because she does have this sort of attraction towards him I guess it seems like and so after that I was like okay yeah it seems like they're definitely setting up and you know they did go on that date and I reckon they'll continue to do that next season so Melissa has made some comments on TV line the article will be in the description below but let's go over it so this is a quote from TV line so Melissa says this What's exciting for Kara is the amount of possibilities. She's had quite a bit of time to herself without any love interest, so I think it's great that there was a possibility at all in Season 5. I would anticipate it even going into Season 6 with complications arising, but I'm glad people are curious. What's really fun on TV shows is watching slow burns with romance, so I think people can expect it. So, what she's teasing is essentially they wanted to do this and you know she's pretty surprised or she's kind of happy that they didn't go like fully ahead with it but she was expecting it to be this sort of slow burn because that's what she likes I'm guessing that's what the showrunners like on the show so you know this is probably what they planned and so what she says in regards to next season is you know she really likes the slow burns but she thinks people can expect it next season, so she says expect as in she kind of knows, you know, she knows something is going to continue in regards to this romance or this relationship in season 6, but there will be complications, as she says, complications arising, but she's glad people are curious. You know, I think there are some people out there who do really like the idea of Kara and William being together, because like, I guess like since William, you know, was revealed to be who he is, and not this kind of douchebag reporter, you know, who's just, you know, the best at everything. People have been liking him a lot more, and I'm not gonna lie, I like him a lot more since, you know, that big reveal a while ago, and I think I would be open to this, and I'm not against it, but I guess, you know, me being a Kara and Monel fan, I'm kind of like, ah, uh, but I want that, but I know at the same time, Monel's probably not gonna return and be like a series regular ever again, so that, in regards to Chris Wood, However, you know, I still have that hope in the back of my mind, like a lot of Caramel fans. However, I'm not going to go against this. I think William is cool. I think he's a pretty good character. I do like him a lot more recently. And, you know, I think there is a possibility. And I was expecting this, so this is not completely out of the blue. But she pretty much confirmed that there are plans for next season. So people can expect this romance and this relationship to continue to next season so that is your answer for supergirl's relationship status next season tell me in the comments below are you excited about it are you happy like me like you're all right with it or are you totally against this let me know in the comments down below so a couple of days ago david harewood did a q a on his instagram this is coming from monroe and so monroe has helped me with lots of videos in the past which is 
really great, you know, she's a very good help for some of the sourcing of information. So she asked some questions to David in this Q&A, and so these are some of the questions. So is Sharon Lil going to stay? And she asked, I've missed Megan so much. David replied, I hope so. So, you know, maybe Megan is going to stay around a bit. We'll have to wait and see. I would say, yeah, probably the first few episodes, she's probably going to stick around and then probably go back off to Mars. Anyway, so let's move on to the next one. So, will Lena be making gadgets for Team Supergirl now? David replied, yes. So, it seems like maybe Supergirl is opening up to Lena and maybe they make Lena part of Team Supergirl again. I mean, I don't think they're going to do it straight away, but I think slowly they're going to phase Lena back into Team Supergirl. Okay, so now let's move on to the next thing. So, Supergirl is officially coming out on Netflix tomorrow. And that is some big news. So this is mainly for US Netflix, I do believe. And apparently in some places in Europe, Season 5 is already out on Supergirl. We'll have to wait and see as to the UK and different places like that. So I'm pretty sure soon Netflix and the CWU's like, sort of deal is over pretty soon. So maybe from next season onwards, you might see some of the shows on HBO Max. Because like you're not going to see Batwoman on Netflix because they didn't make that deal with Netflix and I'm pretty sure they're ending the deal soon. So anyway, for now, Supergirl Season 5 is going to be on Netflix tomorrow, at least in the US and I'm pretty sure in some other places as well. So let's move on to the next thing. There's just two more things that I kind of want to talk about. And so this is again, and this was brought up recently. So apparently Casey McGrath's contract expired after season five and you know we're heading into season six now so what's going on with that i'm pretty damn sure she has signed a new contract and they've renewed her contract because you know they set up what they had at the end of the season and you know she's going to be working with team supergirl and david's just confirmed that so yeah i would say it's nearly a hundred percent sure that she has signed a new contract and katie's going to stay on longer as lena in the show like, I had no doubt about that, even if her contract expired. And, you know, she seems very committed to the role as Lena Luthor. And, you know, with what they set up at the end of the season, I think it would be, like, a massive disservice to, you know, not include her in the next season. But it seems like David's confirmed that already, so no worries about that. Let's move on to the last topic of the video. And this is that Supergirl Season 5 drops on Blu-ray and DVD. I'm pretty sure around the world definitely America and it's normally the same for the UK apart from sometimes they delay it a few weeks in different regions so we'll have to wait and see but this is coming on September 8th 2020 so in September don't have to wait too long it is the end of May now May 26th then you got June July August and then the start of September is when you're going to be getting it so that's Supergirl season 5 on blu-ray and DVD September 8th so this is going to include all nine episodes. There's going to be a lot of bonus stuff on the Blu-ray and I think also on the DVD. And it's going to include deleted scenes, which we'll talk about because there is one deleted scene that I think will definitely come up and, you know, may play a factor if they want to use some of the footage that they shot for the finale in the next episode, you know, heading into the next season. But yeah, so they confirmed deleted scenes and they confirmed a gag reel. That's always the big thing when they confirm this because they always have deleted scenes, but like season two didn't have any gag reel and that was like a big controversy at the time. So when this information comes out year to year, I always look straight away for the gag reel. So yeah, there is a gag reel, so all the bloopers and everything are going to be put into the DVD and Blu-ray for you on September 8th, so don't miss that. Okay, so let's just talk about this final thing in regards to the deleted scene. So there was this scene that they filmed and Canada Graphs, his blog is in the description below, you can go check it out. He is a great source and he took these photos of Team Supergirl on a park bench and they looked up into the sky. This is one of the photos right here. So this is one of the deleted scenes we're probably going to see in the DVD and Blu-ray. However, this could play a factor into next season. They might use some of the footage from the finale in episode one. If, you know, it's fit to continue what they were going to end with. Because, you know, they were going to set up next season and they obviously had a plan. And this scene definitely factored in somehow towards the ending, I would presume. Because it seems like a big kind of way to end an episode where they look into the sky and you see the next threat for next season. I don't know what it could be. It could be to do with Leviathan. It could be something completely new. 
but I would say this is going to come up again whether it's in the deleted scenes or they're going to use it so tell me your theories in the comments down below so that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoy this supergo it's cram packed there's a lot of information that I wanted to get into this but hopefully it helped you guys out and hopefully you know kind of what's going to be happening next season and beyond so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.